Archer, a Braun Stick Mini and team captain. Number 24, Damon Shute. Damon Shute, the captain, or one of the captains of this lacrosse team coming out now. The senior long stick mid from Guilford, New Hampshire. Now another criminal justice major as well. The majority of this lacrosse roster features exercise science, business management, and of course the criminal justice program. Damon has a, a goal on the year, even though he's a long stick midi. Greg Centeo next up. Sport manager major from Fairhaven, Mass. On attack, 6'3". Centeo now coming out with his parents. His father actually played lacrosse here at Dean College as well, a second generation athlete. Centeo's another player that's having a really good season for the Bulldogs. 18 goals and assists for 19 points. You gotta remember too, Brett, a lot of these seniors didn't end up playing their sophomore year due to the COVID-19 pandemic, or it was a shortened season, I must say. Uh, so they didn't get most of their sophomore season. This is a program that we talked about before. Since that COVID-19 pandemic has been slowly but surely growing, Coach Matt Sherr has brought in a lot of different talent to make this a diverse organization, and it's definitely panned out going from a you know, losing record last year to three wins above 500, maybe four if they can pull off the win today. Next senior, Jagan Daughters, a dual athlete here at Dean. Also a athlete on the basketball team, a senior captain as well. Yeah, Jagan's such a great guy. I mean, you talk to him and he's, he's so kind-hearted, cares about everybody. And, uh, you know, I think he's had a lot of fun playing lacrosse. This is his first year. Uh, but, you know, he cares about everyone, and he's so kind. From College Station, Texas, right next to Texas A&M. Once again, Jagan Daughters. All of the basketball teammates joining out there, Dom Chioda, Mark Blair. And finally, a sport management major from Sacramento, California, a midfielder, number 42, Alex Huber, the last senior being honored today from West Coast, Sacramento, California, 5'1 midfielder, 5'11 midfielder. Alex Huber, also a football star, played linebacker and safety under new head coach Dre Murphy for the football team. He also played basketball last year too, right? A tri-sport athlete for Alex Huber. He has definitely been everywhere in the Dean Athletics program. That's one thing, too, about this school. No athlete is just fixed to one sport. A lot of diverse athletes, a lot of people bringing their skills to the table. Yeah, and a lot of people, I mean, I know a couple of people on the lacrosse team, and they've played multiple sports throughout their high school career. But obviously with college, uh, you know, there's not as many sports. And, uh, you know, they kind of stick to that one that they're really good at. So that will wrap up Senior Day festivities here at Dean College. Again, 10 seniors being honored this afternoon here at Grant Field. Two seniors as well for Norwich University. We'll get to them as game time progresses here. For now, we're going to take a short break here on Bridgewater TV. Once again, Brett Shobbs with Nick Giglietti. We will be right back in just a few more short moments.
Thank you very much, guys. I'm here with Dean College President Ken Elmore, now President Senior Day. What is your thoughts on this special day for the seniors? Oh, it's great that we do this, and we just got to recognize those folks who've been here, they've stuck with us, whether it be through injury or playing their best. So Senior Day is one of those things we should all look forward to, and uh, I know I do. Now, what are your thoughts on the athletic program as a whole? I also understand that you were at the athletics banquet last night. Yeah, I was at the athletic banquet last night. It was fantastic. What a great crowd, a lot of folks there, and we it was a great way to celebrate uh, not just our student athletes, but our fans, our athletic trainers, the folks who set up these fields for us, and of course, our coaches and professors. So it is, again, one of those wonderful sorts of things that is a real tradition at Dean that we should never lose sight of. And what are your thoughts on the game today? Well, you know, I hope that we are going to be incredibly inhospitable to uh, the folks from Norwich who are coming in. They're already late, so we'll <laughs> see. You know, they, they, maybe they should just turn around and go back anyway because we are going to try and light them up today. We'll see if that happens. Thank you very much, President. That's President Elmore. I'm Reed Becker. Guys, let's go back to you.
Come on out, guys. No, we're going to do it in the grass with the lacrosse players right in back. Come this way. Come this way just a step. Right here. Perfect. There we go. Down. It's on already. Okay, perfect. And he's going to shoot. Okay. okay. Hi, I'm Steven Mazza. I'm here with Coach Matt. Coach, how you feeling? I'm doing well, Steven. I'm doing well. How you doing? I'm doing I'm doing really well. So what's the what's the excitement going on? It's senior day, last game here on Grant Field, especially for a lot of seniors. So what's the excitement like? Look it's an exciting atmosphere. It's awesome. Everything you guys got going on here really adds to the feel of it, which is great. And uh, it's an opportunity for us to play a really good team, defending conference champions, played in the NCAA tournament last year. So really good squad with a bunch of good players, and, and we're excited for the challenge. Mm -hmm. And what's the plans going on? The playoffs are coming up soon. What's it looking like over there? Yep. So, you know, we clinched a playoff berth last week, but uh, right now we're just focused on winning, winning this game, and we'll kind of let the chips fall as they may with, in terms of the playoffs. We know we're in. Uh, win today probably gives us a chance at a better seed, but we're really focused on we got an opportunity here. Last game of the year, last home game of the year. Um, all of our seniors getting honored. Great opportunity for us to end the season on a positive note, beating a good team and getting a victory. So that's where our focus is. Thank you, Coach. That was Coach Matt. Thank you.
Maxwell Cates here, here with Dean College senior Damon, Damon Shute. Now, Damon, you're a senior. How does it feel to soon end your career here with the Dean College Bulldogs? It feels great. You know, we've been blessed uh, with a great group of coaches, great group of guys. Uh, they just work hard, do whatever they can to get the win, and we should have a good game today. We spoke earlier. You said it feels pretty surreal. It hasn't really set in yet. Do you have any plans for after this game to celebrate that the fact that you've spent a lot of your years here? Yeah, no. I mean, win or lose, I wouldn't... I wouldn't want to go and do another game with anybody else. Uh, these guys have really taught me a lot throughout my years I've been here, and I'm just grateful. So you guys have a pretty formidable opponent. Is there anything you can tell us about them? Any game plan strategies heading into this? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, we played them. They won the conference last year. Uh, you know, but the guys, they got a lot of confidence today. I think everybody's feeling good. Any final words before you head into the game? No, no, go dogs. Let's go. This has been Maxwell Cates here with Bridgewater TV. We thank you for tuning in.
starting lineups first for the visiting cadets a 
On the campus of we, on the campus of Dean College here at Grant Field, it is Dean College men's lacrosse facing off against Norwich University again. Welcome back inside Bridgewater TV, Brett Shops with Nick Giglietti. A lot of things happening today, Nick. Senior day, we had the festivities pregame. Now Dean's getting set to potentially secure their ninth win heading into the playoffs against Norwich. What are you expecting going into today's contest? I think it is going to be a tough matchup. Uh, as we mentioned before, Norwich is the previous GNAC Conference champions. They went to the NCAA tournament last year, and you know Dean had a historic season last year, but ended up uh, coming short in the first round. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of excitement with senior day and you know all the festivities that happened before this. Uh, you know, I expect this to be a pretty close game. As they go over the starting lineup for the Dean College Bulldogs now. Benedetto gets the start today for Dean. Number zero, the junior forward. Rollins also gets the nod. Going in numerical order, Sean Beebe, Peyton Emmerich also starting today for the Bulldogs. So Alex Spears, Adam Breton, and Kyle Ingram all out there. Greg Santeo, the senior second generation Dean athlete. Diego Alvarez Segui, of course, out there as well, leading the team in goals. And Chris Rivera rounds out the starting lineup for the Dean Bulldogs, the Glastonbury, Connecticut native. Yeah, what a season Diego Alvarez Segui is having, though. 53 goals, 19 assists for 72 points. And, and what this is, the last game of the season, uh, you know, he he's an unbelievable player, and you can tell he works hard to achieve those stats. Bulldogs are led by head coach Matt Scherer. Assistant coach is Marcus Donahue, Steve Scherer, Matt Scherer's father, and Alex Giovanni. Graduated last year, he will be serving as an assistant coach. As Bulldogs will head to the circle to take the opening draw. Fifteen minute quarters here at Grant Field. Started out to be a little bit of a sunny day, but has since turned out to be gloomy. Forecast expected a little bit in the mid to high 50s today, so an average day in Franklin, Mass. It was beautiful out about an hour ago, but then the sun uh, went behind those clouds. But either way, a great day to play with some lacrosse. The referees going over the dimensions of Grant Field. A little bit more of an obscure setup here at Dean College with Dean Hall and the rest of the architecture behind. So if a ball were to go out of play and hit the back netting, they would restart again the back fence as well towards that left side that they're referring to. Tyler Benedetto, he was named uh, preseason All-American for uh, his position, which is the face-off position. He's actually a transfer student from uh, Florida State, so you know, he's, he's had a great season so far as a Bulldog. Thomas Moraski with Tyler Benedetto in the circle. And Dean will win the opening draw. It's quickly picked up and swung ahead. Rivera will bring it up for the Bulldogs, swinging it over towards the right wing. Slowly making their way in towards Norwich. Hustling in. Now behind the circle is Spears. Spears looking for an open man, still paused. Defense on by Aaron Broom of Norwich. The cadets come in at 6-10 on the year 5-5 five five in GNAC play. Spears up to the top. Back over to Jason Richard. Now to the left wing. Bulldogs trying to cut in. That's Aiden McCarthy throwing a shot, and it's still behind. Now back towards the right wing. Up to the top again. This is Richard. Richard over to his right side again. The yeah, Bulldogs just moved the ball so well. Shot on goal by Alvarez. Zagui was wide. Another chance they score. First goal of the game belongs to Dean. It's Jason Richard. One nothing, Dean. Yeah, like I mentioned but right before the they scored, it was an unbelievable play by Dean. They moved the ball so well, and Richards gets his 15, 15th goal of the season for a one nothing lead just a minute into the first quarter. 
Aiden McCarthy got the assist on the play. That's the start you wanted for the Bulldogs. One nothing, Dean, as they quickly will now transition back to defense. Benedetto throws a shove onto a cadet. That's Jackson Bamfield. Now behind the net is Bamfield. Looking for an open pass. Good defense here from Sean Beebe. Over on the left wing, now to the top. This is to Tyler Seidel. At the top. With the ball, Hunter Dixon, the 5'10 first year student on attack. The cadets will reset over by the right wing. Now cutting in towards the net, going behind the net. Now to the left wing. That's Luke Pineo. Norwich cuts in. Good defense by Dean, keeping them on the perimeter. Now to the right wing, to the top. Dixon looking for an open look, gets to the left side again. Down low, good hard cut. Now back inside the circle. Dean was able to crash, and they're able to pick up the loose ball. Norwich still swatting at it, and now Dean holds it across. Here come the Bulldogs with Sean Beebe as they work in. Down by that right wing. Rugby scrum, and now Norwich will pick it up on the stick of Mason McMahon. Bulldogs will have a couple men back out. Yeah, great defense by the Bulldogs on that play. They they let Norwich run the ball, and they didn't get clustered because of it. No shot lane for the cadets, and the Bulldogs ended up winning the ball, and uh, now they will try and uh, score on another opportunity. Owen Bryan, Aiden McCarthy, Jason Richard all check back in for Dean. Waiting to go in is Mason McMahon for Norwich. Penalty assigned to McMahon for pushing. 30 seconds awaiting for him. Over to the side for Richard. To the top. Now going to that right wing. They'll quickly lose possession. That's Brian now getting shoved down by a Norwich defender. That's number nine, Anthony Larson. Larson still fighting with a couple players. Picked up by Brian. Now swatted in by the right wing and now Norwich will take over on possession. The goalkeeper, number 30, Thomas Kelleher, will slow down the pace here for Norwich as they quickly bring it over to center field. They'll cross into the possession. Working in over to the right side. Good push there by Matt Meehan. Still working by that right wing. Now to the top point. Seidel gets to the left side. Now back to the left point. Top now for Meehan. Meehan waiting a pass. Transition here for the Bulldogs. Number 27, Greg Zenteo will check in. Cadets still looking for an open goal. Good defense by the Bulldogs. Swatting at it, and they'll take over possession. They'll slow it down and send it backward. Still not a good scoring opportunity for the Cadets so far, about four minutes in. James Rollins sends it away for Dean as they work through center field. Here's Richard. A lot of room to work with. He's got three defenders on him. Down below behind the net. Bulldogs looking for an open pass. They'll go for a transition now. Cadets will also go for a swap off the bench. Number nine, Anthony Larson checks out. Number eight, Aaron Broom will check back in for Norwich. At the top, slowing play down is number 11 for Dean, Alex Spears. Cutting in on the left side is Ryan Clooney. Clooney cuts behind the net again. Aiden McCarthy, slowing play down, has it on his right hand. Gets pushed back once more. Clooney to the top. This is Segui. Alvarez Segui cutting in, throwing a shot and that one wide again. Good attempt for Diego Alvarez Segui, but couldn't finish it off. The Bulldogs will reset. Segui, working on his right hand, uses an inside shoulder, throwing a shot, and that one wide again. So two attempts lost there for Alvarez Segui. Under 10 to go here in the opening quarter. Still 1-0 Dean. 
Our Shostak Jig Lady with you here on Bridgewater TV and as well as the Neen Athletics page. Welcome all new listeners here on Senior Day for the Neen Bulldogs. Total of 10 seniors graduating after today's final regular season game and playoff. Couple swats there by the Dean defenders. Ball is still on the ground. Norwich trying to pick it up. A rugby scrum and they finally come away with it. Whistle will blow it dead. And now a timeout will come for Norwich. Yeah, Dean defenders are all over the Norwich cadets right now. And you can kind of tell that the cadets are getting a little frustrated. Uh, nothing's really going their way. Bulldogs, obviously a lot of emotions today and they're playing uh, outstanding so far. The Steen defense is one of the more aggressive units here in the GNAC. You can already see it in the first opening minutes here with all the swats over by the right point and that center side. So head coach Matt Scherer will talk it over with his team again. The Norwich Cadets led by head coach Neil Anderson, assisted by Andrew Bracey, Jack Anzalone, Sarah Goslin, and John Markle. Maxwell McKay also serving as a positional coach. The captain too as well. Nine thirty-two remaining here in the opening quarter. Starting to spit a little bit here in terms of rain. There is a little bit of rain projected in the forecast towards the later parts of the evening. Should not play a factor into today's contest conditions. I believe it still will be Norwich Cadets ball. Norwich will start out with the possession. That's Hunter Dixon starting it out. He'll now serve it over to the right, the left wing. Norwich trying to reset. That's 26, Luke Paneo. Paneo gets to the top. That's Seidel. Seidel over to Dixon. Dixon waiting on a right hand. Methodically working behind the net now. Over for an open pass. Good defense by Dean. Dixon with a shove. Still looking for an open look. And I'll send it down low. That's to Meehan. Meehan cuts right. Now quickly puts on the brakes. Looking for a forward pass into the crease. And nobody's home. Good defense by the Bulldogs. Still a fight forward in front of the net. And now Dean will come up with it. Here comes a wide open run from Sean Beebe. He's got a whole lot of space to work with. Beebe cutting in. Throwing a shot on goal. And a nice save made by the netminder in Thomas Kelleher. Bulldogs now will work back on defense as Norwich goes in transition. This is Dixon. Over to his right. Now to the top of the point. Meehan gives it to his left. They'll cut in once again. This is to Alex Johnston. Johnston still holding, working behind the net. Bulldogs defense forcing them on the perimeter. Johnston spills, gets quickly back up on his feet, looking for a crease pass, nobody home. Good defense by Dean, ball will come loose. Swatted out by 35, Chris Rivera from Connecticut. Up top, Bulldogs now hold possession. And that will quickly go out of play and the Bulldogs will retain possession. Yeah, it was good coverage by the Cadets right there as uh, you can kind of see here. There was really a mad scramble and uh, Dean was able to come away with it. Matt Ingram inbounds it here for Dean. They're working all alone with Matthew Pacheco, the senior from Warwick. Pacheco will now slow it down. Checking in was number 10, Jaden Wise from Belchertown, Mass. Number 14 for the Bulldogs will also step in. That's Grayson Colvin from Wake Forest, North Carolina. Colvin goes to his right side. Over to Pacheco. Pacheco, long ranging pass over by the left wing now. Still working by that left side is Dean. Alvarez Segui has it on his stick. Cuts in with a fast motion on his left hand, looking for an open shot. Uses the inside shoulder. Nobody's open, trying to pound his way into the zone. Shot on goal, and he wasn't there in time. Goes wide left. Segui with his third missed opportunity. How strong is Alvarez Segui, though? Bulldogs will restart it back up. Trying to cut it in, and a attempted chance there on Kelleher, and that one went wide again. That shot was taken by Alex Spears. 
Here's Sugi again. Got a wide open lane shot and a nice save by Kelleher. That one just got the top of his stick. Goes back to center field. Might have deflected off the post right there too. Spears will take it back up for the Bulldogs. Golvin by the right side. Wise over to Golvin. Down low again. This is to Pacheco. Working behind the net now. Spears slowing it down for the Bulldogs as they reposition. 6.15 remaining in this opening quarter. 1-0 Dean. Wide open lane in front of Kelleher. Feeding it. Shot on goal. And that one just blocked with traffic. Second attempt. And that one was wide. Good opportunity there for Grayson Colvin. Couldn't get it done though. Here come the Bulldogs again. Working in. This is Pacheco. Pacheco up top, shot, nice save by Kelleher, rebound in front, and they couldn't put it home. Here comes Norwich. Some big rebounds by the Norwich goalie so far. A lot of opportunities for the Bulldogs. Up top, now working by the left side is Dean. A couple players looking to check in here for the Bulldogs. Alvarez Segui will come out. Chris Carbone checks in. Colvin will also check out for Dean as Alvarez Segui will slowly work back in. Working on the right side now is Norwich. Masanius cutting in with the left shoulder. Now forced to the left slot. Cadets looking to run in. Meehan gives it to the right side and that one goes out. Great defense by Dean. Try to feed it to 77 and Mitchell McKay couldn't get the job done so Dean will take over. See just a wide pass in front of McKay and goes out of play. Yeah, nothing McKay could do on that play. Here come the Bulldogs. Peyton Emrick. Now working down behind the net is Aiden McCarthy. The sophomore attack. McCarthy puts on the brakes. Still working inside. McCarthy gives it to the left side. Alvarez Segui to the top now. Owen Bryan now holds to the top of the point for Jalen Richard. Here comes Spears, working in shot, oh what a goal! Behind the back for Alex Spears, celebration behind the net, <laughs> two nothing Dean. Yeah, what a great play by Spears. He got it from Richard, he actually took it all the way down. Spears with a behind the back under the goalie's feet to make it a two nothing lead for the Bulldogs. About less, just under five minutes left to play in the first quarter. Alex Spears with an exceptional play to extend Dean's lead here. That's Spears' 27th goal on the season. Also leads the Bulldogs in assist with 30. Here comes Benedetto with a big charge working in front of the net, has it at the bottom of his stick. Got a lot of defense on him. Benedetto will now retreat, trying to get it back to Spears. Norwich trying to slow it down. This is on the stick of Mason McMahon now. Here come the cadets working in the offensive zone. One chance, faked. Norwich will now be pushed over to the left side. That's Aaron Broom trying to work with it. Down below the net. Rollins with position. To the top for Meehan. Plenty of activity towards that left side for Norwich. Bulldogs will spread out on defense to the top. Now to the right side. Norwich will check a man in. That's 32, Alex Johnston. Now to the left side again for Meehan. Matt Meehan leading this team in assists with 22. Also leads in total points with 38. Shot on goal. That was a bullet and wide. Goes out of play. Mitch McKay will inbound it here for the Cadets. 3-19 remaining in this opening quarter. 2-0 Dean. Here comes McKay with a full head of steam. Working with that inside shoulder. He's got the open look. Space in front of Rollins. Shot and that one was blocked. Great defense by Dean. Trying to feed it up and through. Good swat there as well. That's number 37, Chris Carbone. Now Dean works in stride with Spears. Spears working by that right wing all alone. Spears. He'll slow down the pace as Dean will transition back on attack. Richard will check back in. 
Ryan Clooney also comes in for the Bulldogs. Alvarez Segui set up in front of the net. Clooney gives it back to Spears. Spears cuts in. To his left, takes a spill, trying to get it back to Richard. Two defensemen are on him quickly. Somehow Spears manages to get out of it. Over to the right side. Pushed back by that's number four, Jackson Bampfield. Spears now pushed down below on the right side. Trying to work it by the slot. Has it on his right hand now, cutting in towards the net. Kelleher has that post guarded by Tightly. Alvarez Segui looking for an open pass. Gets it to his right side to Richard. Down low again. Behind the net. Clooney gives it to Segui. Alvarez Segui cutting in. Has the shoulder on the right side. Shot on goal and he scores. Diego Alvarez Segui, 3 0 Dean. Yeah, it seems like anytime Alvarez Segui has an opening, he's going to take the shot, and it's an, uh, he has an unbelievable shot. As he gets the ball from Spears here, he takes a little stutter step, shoots it low to the uh, right side of the goalie for Norwich. 3 0 lead, a minute 53 left in the first quarter. Beautiful play by Diego Alvarez Segui. Benedetto's back out there to take the draw for the Bulldogs. And Norwich comes up with it. Here come the cadets working by the left side. That's Thomas Moraski. By the left wing. Cadets still looking for an open pass. Great defense by the Bulldogs. Emmerich holding that left side tight on defense. Down below is Mitch McKay with that brace on his left knee. You have to wonder how much pressure he'll be able to put on it. And in front of the crease, whistle will be blown. With just under 90 seconds remaining here in the opening quarter. Rollins will start up the possession now for Dean. Colvin and Pacheco getting set to check in here for Dean. 36, Matthew Hannon also checking in for the Cadets. Here comes Wise for the Bulldogs. Working at the top. This line for Dean. Trying to keep the momentum rolling. Colvin now checks back in for the Bulldogs. Colvin quickly gets involved. Under a minute to go in the quarter. 3-0 Dean. Back to Wise. Wise has it on his stick. Trying to look in. Has that look on the left side. He'll retreat. Back to Segui. Trying to catch down with 43 seconds left. Gets the ball swatted out of his stick. He'll recollect. Segui. Gets pushed out, cutting in with the inside shoulder. Has the luck, shot it, and almost got it. So the man on the left side, that was number 22, and Matthew Pacheco. Instead, it goes out of play. The Bulldogs will transition with 31.8 seconds remaining. Yeah, what a great opportunity. What a great look by Alvarez Segui. Pacheco just missed it, but a good opportunity for the Bulldogs to try and get one before it ended. The Cadets trying to get one goal in before the quarter ends. 19 seconds left. They'll try to cut in with Aaron Broom. Broom. Down low, they score. The Cadets are on the board, and it's 3-1. That's yeah, Matt Maheen with the goal. He, uh, nobody really on him there. Uh, it's a good opportunity for the Cadets, and uh, nothing really Rollins could do either. Rollins with a tough goal above his left shoulder. Benedetto will come back out to take the draw for the Bulldogs. 11.8 seconds remaining in this opening quarter. Two-goal lead for Dean. Again, 8-5 and five on the season overall. They are split. Five wins, five losses in conference play. Bulldogs will take it up with 10 seconds left. Here's Spears throwing a shot, and that one whistled wide. 5.7 remains, and Norwich will take over. Long saucer pass from Kelleher. Shot was way wide of Rollins, and the horn will sound. There's a, there's a flag on the play, too. I think it's going to be on Peyton Emmerich after, after the whistle. So Emmerich will, Emmerich will get the penalty here, and we're going to go for a short break here over on the side. Reed Becker has our athletic director, George Martin. Reed, what do you have for us?
Thank you very much, guys. I'm here with Dean College Athletic Director George Martin. Now, George, senior day for the men's lacrosse team. What does senior day mean to you? Yeah, it's a, it's a great day every time we have a senior day here to honor uh, the group of guys that have been here and the commitment that they've made to the lacrosse program and Dean College over the last four years. Now, what are your thoughts on the lacrosse team for the men overall this season? Really good year so far. Good year so far. Really happy with the way that they're playing today. They came out really strong. Good first quarter playing defensive uh, lacrosse right now, limiting the uh, opportunities for Norwich to get some shots on net. And so far, so good. And what about as the athletic program as a whole? The athletic program as a whole is growing. We're doing a really nice job of taking those steps once we became a full NCAA institution to start to grow the programs, um, to be more competitive within the GNAC. And I think we can see that with our spring programs this year. We've already got both lacrosse programs that are going to be in a postseason tournament. And baseball is playing a really big doubleheader today with the opportunity to, uh, to create the same thing. George, thank you very much for your time. That's Dean Athletic Director George Martin. I'm Reed Becker. Brett, let's go back to you. Thanks, Reed. Getting set to open up the second quarter here at Grant Field on the campus of Wheaton College, or of Dean College, I should say. Wow. 3-1 the score between Dean and Norwich. Brett Shops, Nick Giglietti with you. 25 seconds to go until we open it back up. They're going to start inside the Dean zone. So the sides have swapped. Kelleher will now work on the right side on your screen. James Rollins, the netminder for Dean, on the left side. And there was a penalty uh, before the first quarter there. Payne Emmerich will sit for 30 seconds. So Emmerich will take a knee as we open up. Norwich will start with the offensive possession. Horn sounds. And we resume play here in Franklin. Norwich will quickly bring it up with Alex Johnston working on the left side, now cutting center. And that one just bobbled in front of Rollins, did a great job to collect it. Bulldogs will now start things back up on defense. Rollins will fling it over all the way down towards Wise and it goes out of play just in front of us here at the broadcast table. That was Wise in front there. Cadets will restart things up again. Nine seconds left on the penalty. Matt Meehan over to the right side, gets away. One last chance for Dixon, and he can't get there in time. Emmerich still waiting to come in. It's a pretty long nine seconds, huh? 14 and a half remaining here in the first half. Good cut there by Wise. Made the first man miss in Chris Smith. Here come the Bulldogs working on the left side. That's Alvarez Segui. Emmerich will check back in for Dean with a couple substitutions as well. Owen Bryan back in for Dean as well. Here comes Alvarez Segui. Shot and a nice save by Kelleher. Rebound back to Norwich. And they'll work the opposite direction now. Here come the cadets. All alone is Jackson Bampfield. Bampfield, a bullet on Rollins, and that one whistles wide. And what a great play by Rollins. He saw the Norwich Cadet player try and win the uh, win the ball back, but he beat him to it. Bulldogs ball. Here comes Dean, Aid McCarthy. Good physical action at center field. Finds the open lane, working with the right hand. Cutting in, gives a pass over to the center point. Brian will slow it down here for Dean. Checking out here is 15 and Anthony List. Coming back in is Jalen Richard. Richard over to Brine on the left wing. 13-23 remaining in the first half. On the opposite side behind the net, it's the Spears. Up to the top again. Richard back to Spears playing ping pong with the ball. Over to the side for Brine. Brine cuts in. Working on the left side. Shot on goal. That one wide again. Just missed Kelleher that time, and it goes out of play. Bulldogs will inbound it here. Here comes McCarthy. McCarthy cutting in, had a look over by the shoulder of Kelleher, and the bouncer whistled away from the net again. Another inbound here for the Bulldogs, this one by Owen Bryan. Sagi will slow this one down for Dean. Diego Alvarez Sagi cuts in opposite side. Has the look underneath. He got it. 
Second goal of the day for Diego Alvarez Sugi makes it 4 1. Yeah, he battled two defenders off of him, took the opportunity to score or take the shot, and he ended up scoring. It was a beautiful play there. Alvarez Sugi, two goals today, marks his 55th goal on the year. Benedetto back in the circle. Four one Bulldogs with 12.40 remaining in the half. That'll be Alvarez's 74th point of the season. An outstanding season so far for Alvarez Segui. Bulldogs will check men back in. Clooney and Brian there as well. Jaden Wise will come out. Jalen Richard checks back in. Alex Spears will slow it down. Signals to the right side. Alvarez Segui sent up in front of the net. Richard gives it to his left. That's Brian. Brian has the look on his left. And now send it down low behind the net. Bulldogs working that right side now with Spears. Segui waiting to set up. Spears cuts right side. Has the open lane. Segui trying to set up. Still behind the net now. Down by the left side. Richard twirls. Has it shot. And it's quickly blocked. Norwich defender had a stick in front. And now the cadets will reset, working behind their own net. That's 34 of Joshua McQuinn, the 6'1 defenseman out of Milton, Vermont. Here come the cadets as they work in stride. In the attacking end, down behind the net of Rollins. On the left side now is Meehan. Meehan slowing things down for Norwich. Up to the top for Masonius. Now to Seidel. Meehan will continue to slow it down by the perimeter. Clock slowly dwindling down here at Grant. Under 11 minutes to go. Meehan still with possession. Down by the right wing. Cadets will cut in. Hard breaks. Here's Meehan throwing a shot. That one wide right of Rollins. And it goes out, so Norwich will inbound it again. Yeah, what a whistler there by the cadets. Up top for Meehan. Looking in. Still both hands on the stick. Now waits on his left, going behind the net. Shot on goal, and Rollins was able to fight it off. Up top, the Dean defense trying to work through and they are able to pick up the possession. That's 16 of Adam Breton, the senior. Here come the Bulldogs now on the attack. Working on the right side is Spears. He slowly awaits possession with Wise there to get the torch. Here's Wise on his right hand, still waiting. And he'll flip it to Colvin who checks in. Under 10 to go here in the first half. 4-1 Bulldogs. Colvin working methodically over on that left wing. He'll now give it off to Greg Zinteo. On that left wing, here comes Colvin. All alone, goes behind the net. Here comes Sagi. Sagi, shot, score! Hat trick for Alvarez Sagi. 5-1 Dean. Yeah, Alvarez Sagi, as I mentioned before, he's going to take the opportunity to try and take any shot he can. He, it was a great pass by Colvin. I actually thought he was going to try and shoot it there, but he ended up passing to Sagi. Uh, Sagi with nobody really on him just because of the great play by Colvin. Uh, Sagi far post and in 5-1 lead for the Bulldogs now. 9.38 to go here in the half. Bulldogs with a commanding four-goal lead and a strong start for the final game of the regular season. These lacrosse programs for Dean College have been off to a strong start as that one whistles out of play. Both the men's and women's lacrosse programs are secured into the GNAC postseason. Men's baseball also playing a big doubleheader to potentially secure their spot in the postseason as well. Wise will bring it up for Dean as they start another attack. Here's Wise, has a wide open lane, now closed down by the cadets. 
Gives it back to Alex Spears. Now Sagi will work behind the net. Alvarez Sagi with the left shoulder. Still fighting off a defender. Has the open lane. Looking underneath and that was blocked. Norwich will quickly go to retrieve the loose ball. Goes out. Cyrus Gallet was there. And now Gallet will inbound. Yeah, in the last three, four minutes, Norwich hasn't really had anything going for them. Not a lot of good opportunities. At center field, here comes Norwich with Aaron Broom. 8.45 remaining in the half. Cutting in, Broom all alone. He went on top of Rollins. Beautiful goal for Aaron Broom, and it's 5-2. Yeah, it was a great uh, passing play here. Nobody really on him here as uh, he came in on Rollins, and Rollins couldn't really do anything about that as Rollins kind of cross-checked him in the face as well. Broom kind of looked back at Rollins there. There is a flag down. Officials sorting out the ruling. Might have been on that sort of check motion that you mentioned earlier. Mitch McKay is there as well, and it looks like it is going to be a potential bulldog penalty. Still awaiting word. And it's going to go against Norwich. So Norwich will have the penalty. Head coach Neil Anderson for the cadets, not too happy with it. Looks like the cadets will be working with a man down here. And Broom will have the penalty. It'll be an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty on Broom. So Jalen Richard for the Bulldogs will start it up on their end. Ladies and gentlemen, a one minute unsportsmanlike penalty has been issued to Norwich's number eight, Aaron Broom. Previous play is ruled no goal. No goal for the Bulldog or for the Cadets. They took it off the board. So the official ruling an unsportsmanlike one minute penalty to Aaron Broom. No goal. It remains 5 1 in favor of the Bulldogs. Up top is Richard, gives to the left side for Clooney, working down behind the net. Here's Spears, gives to the top for Richard, going back and forth around the perimeter. Clooney gives it to Sagi. Sagi behind the net. Bulldogs continuing to pinch the zone here on the cadet. Shot and nearly got in. Loose ball in front of the goal, and Norwich is just able to escape with Anthony Larson. Beautiful design for Dean. What a great ball movement. And Spears actually got the ball to Centeo, but Centeo didn't really get much on the shot there. Working still inside the Norwich zone. No, and it looks like we're gonna get a potential penalty here to Dean, still awaiting a bit of a slap there on Anthony Larson. Penalty is over to Broom. Seven and a half remaining here in the first half. 5-1 in favor of the Bulldogs. Up top now for Norwich. Lollipop pass over to Meehan. Meehan, left shoulder, still awaiting, goes behind the net to McKay. McKay awaits. Now gives it to the right wing. Masonius. Looking in, did not have the open lane. Instead goes for the wraparound. Did he get it? A beautiful save by Rollins. No goal for Norwich. Another flag on the play, too. And it looks like they're going to get number five, Ryan Clooney, on the penalty for holding. 30-second penalty to Clooney. So 6.29, Dean will be back to full strength. Up to the top. Meehan, downstairs, gives it over to Chris Smith. Potential shot, and that one wide. Norwich will have to retreat again. Great defense by the Bulldogs as they force it wide. Emmerich's able to pick it up. Has it on his stick, forced outside. And it looked like he went out of play, so it will transition back to Norwich. Quick pass 
Over to Smith. To the top for Meehan. Over on the left side. Masonius trying to control it. Here comes Wise. Charging in. Shot and they got it. Great goal there for Tyler Seidel. It's 5-2 now. Yeah, good opportunity for the cadets here. It was a good passing play. That was number 20, Seidel from Centerville, Maryland. Uh, you know, he runs another one that's, you know, you can't really do anything on that. If you're the Bulldogs too, don't let this goal do anything for you. You still have a three goal lead. They'll bring back the draw. And it's going to go to the Bulldogs. Benedetto will quickly come back out. Here comes Jalen Richard. Jason Richard down low. Bulldogs still trying to find it out. Richard's up top. Trying to cut in is Brian. Brian gives it to his right side to Spears. Spears cuts to the right, has an open look. A man fell down, shot, and Kelleher is just able to get a hold of it. Good look for Dean, but a nice save by Norwich. And, and Spears was trying to go behind the back on that play as well. Great opportunity. He got by two defenders there. And it will be Bulldogs balls once again. Shot clock back at 75. And Spears threw a dart above the net, and it goes way out. 5.36 remaining here in the opening half. Bulldogs lead it by three, five to two. But Shams alongside Nick Giglietti with you. Senior day here at Grant Field at Dean College. Again, 10 seniors graduating after this season for the Bulldogs, just two for the Norwich Cadets. A total of 11 first-year students on this roster for Norwich, so a fairly young team. Over to Brian, throws a dart and it hit the crossbar. Nearly got it on top of Kelleher. Instead goes all the way towards the crowd on the far side of the field. They'll keep the clock rolling. Yeah, what a great opportunity by Brian there. Here comes Dean working behind the net. That's Alvarez Segui holding possession. Over to Spears. Spears finds a man. Brian, this time he got it. Oh, and Brian fires it home at 6 2. Yeah, Brian's been playing great all day. Uh, anytime he takes the opportunity to shoot, he will as well. That's his 17th goal of the season so far uh, for his 20th point as a Bulldog. Uh, it was a great pass by Spears to Brian. Brian finish it like it's no tomorrow. 6 2 lead for the Bulldogs. Under five to go, and the Bulldogs reclaim the four-goal lead over Norwich. Benedetto back out there for Dean. Good start so far. The scrum in front of the circle. Dean's still awaiting. It's flipped up. Benedetto still trying to hold possession. Gets his stick swatted out of his hand, and now the cadets will work the other way. Time to go, 10 minutes, 5 seconds. Here comes the Norwich Cadets. They'll restart things at the top of the point with number eight, Aaron Broom. Masanius. Over to 32, that's Alex Johnston. Johnston works in. Plenty of space, back to Meehan. Meehan on the left side. Meehan gives it over to 26, that's Luke Paneo. Johnston works the right side out of Masanius. Masanius heavily guarded inside the circle and nearly got it home to Rollins. It goes out with four even to go here in the first half. Yeah, that was a great play by Adam Britton. Adam Britton, he saw the Norwich Cadet right on in the crease of Rollins' goal, and uh, you know he he kind of saved the goal there. Rollins has plenty of room to work out. He'll flip it back to Wise, who again has plenty of space. The Norwich Cadets playing a little more conservative here on defense to start out this possession. 
54 seconds on the shot clock for Dean. Behind the net is Sagi. 3.30 remaining on the game clock. Sagi gives it to his left side. Back to Sagi. Sagi now will work the left wing. To the top. Down low again. Bulldogs with Centeo. Up top. Trying to cut in was Richard, got a whole stick wad to the helmet, gave a shove afterward. Still a scrum in front, a lot of bodies playing some physical activity. Some extra words were said as well. Here come the cadets now working on the attack. Down by the left slot. Pineo finding some space. Now to the top of the point, here's Mian, has some room to work. Gives way to the right side. Shot on goal, that one was wide of Rollins and it goes out with 2.36 left. Yeah, he may have gotten a piece on that too. That was Matthew Hannon who took the shot. Norwich will take it back in. Meehan gives it up top. Trying to go down low on Rollins and the failed pass will go out of play with 2.29 remaining. Reset the shot clock as well. Bulldogs will take over with possession. Rollins will work out of the circle. Rollins, plenty of space to work with. He'll flip it ahead. Over to Emmerich. Emmerich, looking for the open man. One hopper over to Wise. Wise, he'll cut. And now a whistle will be blown with 2.07 left and we're gonna get a timeout on Norwich's side. Timeout, Dean College, rather. So the Bulldogs will take their first time out of the half for head coach Matt Scherer. 6-2 your score with 2 minutes, 7 seconds remaining here at Grant Field. Brett Shops, Nick Giglietti with you here on the campus of Dean College. Nick, it has been a solid game for the Dean attack so far. Consistent defensive play and nothing more you can ask for if you're head coach Matt Scherer. Yeah, I mean, I think that's kind of what he keys on when you're on the attack, move the ball well and uh, take the shot when you have it. As for, as for the defensive side, you know, just man mark, really. Uh, obviously, the, the ball is going to get moved around a lot. And, uh, you know, Dean's been playing really well uh, man marking, and uh, that's why they lead 6 2. So the Bulldogs will finish out this huddle here, trying to finish out this first half with that four goal lead and potentially win this game. Again, they won their last contest at Anna Maria who currently sits in the bottom two in GNAC standings. Yeah, that was actually a big game for Dean to win. If they didn't win that game, the odds of them making playoffs uh, were, you know, not, I, would, I don't want to say slim, but, you know, harder to find in the playoffs. Uh, but Dean ended up winning that game, and, you know, it was a great game. It is a very difficult conference in terms of men's lacrosse. Three teams at 10 wins or more with Emmanuel Riviere and that is Johnson and Wales. Also two teams at nine wins with LaSalle and the St. Joseph's College of Maine. Both teams at five and five in this contest in terms of GNAC conference play, Norwich and Dean are. And we mentioned before Norwich, uh, you know, last year conference champions went to the NCAA tournament. They must have lost a lot of uh, key players on that team uh, because they're a really young team this year. And, uh, you know, I don't want to say they're inexperienced, but uh, Dean has more depth than the cadets right now. Again, we mentioned before, 11 total first-year athletes on this men's lacrosse roster for the cadets. Dean with 10 seniors. So almost a flip-flop in terms of the age groups. Clooney takes a shove from behind. Minute and 45 remaining on the game clock. Spears cutting in, has some space, still holding. Now working that left side, over to Alvarez Segui. Cutting in, has a lot of pressure cutting in by the circle, and he lost possession. Segui still trying to work with it, and now Kelleher will take over for Norwich. Yeah, that's something they're really keen on now is double team in Alvarez Segui. Here comes Norwich, Anthony Larson. Works past center field, great defense there. From the Bulldogs and Aiden McCarthy, up top. Now working that left side to Meehan. Meehan working in, 60 seconds to play here in the opening half. 6-2 Bulldogs, Norwich looking for a last minute score. Masonius 
up to the top for Seidel. Over to Meehan. 48 seconds remain. Here come the cadets. Working inside the circle to Masonius. Working the left side. Me in with a blast in that one. Wide left on your screen. It goes out. Bulldogs will take over on possession. Great defensive effort for Dean. Yeah, great play by Rollins once again, beating out that battle. Kyle Ingram and Rollins will take it up for Dean, just trying to kill off the last seconds on the clock. 30 remaining, counting down. Here comes Dean, working the near side of the field. It's Adam Breton. Hard cut by Peyton Emmerich. Emmerich gives way to the left side. Here comes Alvarez Segui. Plenty of room to work with. Throwing a shot, and that one wide again on Kelleher, who stumbled in the retrieval process. Goes out of play with 13 and a half remaining. Yeah, what another great opportunity by Alvarez Segui. I think there's another timeout called here. Bulldogs will take their second timeout here of the half. 58 seconds on the shot clock. Matt Scherer trying to find one last score, maybe go up five goals heading into the locker room. And that would be huge. I mean, even though Dean's up by four goals right now, being up by five is kind of a harder hill to climb for the cadets. Again, 6-2 your score here on the campus of Dean College, located at Grant Field. Brett Shams, Nick Giglietti with you. Grant Field located above all of the first-year residential halls that you can see here at Dean College. You can actually see Wallace Hall directly center in front of your screen where the scoreboard is placed. Ewan Hall to the right side and Jones Hall just barely on your screen down below on the left side. The Bulldogs will come out of the huddle now. Again, 13.6 remaining on the clock. Norwich will come out of the huddle as well. The cadets traveling all the way from northern Vermont, about a three and a half hour drive from Vermont. I actually took the drive to Norwich University last season for soccer, and let me tell you, that drive is not very fun. Uh, you get bus legs very quick, and uh, it's not very fun. At least the scenes are pretty. <laughs> the scenes are very pretty, yes. Ten seconds left. Here comes Alex Spears. Spears cutting in. One last chance. Five seconds left, and they couldn't get it. Over to McCarthy. Goes all the way to center field, and it is blown dead with a little over half a second left. Dean will take possession here. One last long chuck, and that one goes out of play. And that'll end the first half here at Dean College. Your score after two full quarters, 6-2 in favor of Dean College. What a start here for the Bulldogs, Nick. Came out with six goals. Alvarez Segui already has three on his stat line, and it has really been an offensive touting here for Dean. Yeah, I mean, as I mentioned before, the ball the, when they move the ball, it's uh, you know very fast, and I don't think the cadets with their you know younger players uh, aren't really ready for it. Alvarez Segui is probably one of the best players in the GNAC, and uh, you know he's tearing it up as usual. Uh, Spears has been playing really well. I love the way McCarthy's been playing. Uh, as for the defense, Adam Britton's been playing very well, as well as the goalie, James Rollins. 55 goals now on the season, or rather 56, I should say, now with the third goal for Alvarez Segui. Absolutely tearing it up. You mentioned it perfectly. One of the best players in this GNAC conference in terms of offensive production. Lots of action happening here for Dean College again. Just some playoff implications. A win here for Dean would put them at 9-5 and five on the season. That would put them right up in contention with the 9-7 and seven St. Joseph, Maine, and 10-5 and five Johnson and Wales. They'd be just under a win of Johnson and Wales. So if you're wondering about the seeding, there it is. A, no a loss here for Norwich today puts them at 6-11. and 11. They would still be ahead of the 8-7 and seven 
Anna Maria. So if Dean were to win this game, they would be the sixth seed, and they would play Emmanuel at Emmanuel. So I beg your pardon. It's the eight and seven, rather Albertus Magnus, and at two and fourteen Anna Maria. So six two, your score here at half. It'll be about a 7.49 remaining here at halftime, so a brief intermission. We're going to take a short break. Brett Shobbs, I'm Jake Lietti. Over to Lucas Ferreira on the sidelines with BTV's coordinator, Jeff Fowler. Lucas, what do you got? Across, uh, senior game here with Jeff Fowler of the, the Bridgewater TV Access. Um, they do a lot of work all over New England and outside New England as well. Um, Jeff, what brings you down to Grant Field today in Franklin, Mass? Well, Lucas, first of all, thank you for having us, and thanks to uh, the Dean team for having us here. Yeah, this is a uh, kind of the culmination of a two- or three-year conversation that uh, Greg Siebert and I have been having. And uh, really, we're looking to build a partnership with uh, Dean College and with Bridgewater Television. And we're all about, you know, education and, uh, and teaching and a uh, very impressive program here. And so we're really happy to be a part of it. Yeah, I think I speak for everybody here when I say thanks for you know, sure. coming down as yeah, well to a lot of advanced equipment uh, as well. Um, what have you uh, What have you thought about the, the entire experience so far here at Dean College? It, it's been amazing. I mean, it's a great, great crew to work with. We're really excited to have the, the number of students. That's been the most in, impressive of all. And uh, uh, my sports producer, John Luck, our director, Mary Evers, uh, being able to work with them. Uh, you know, they do an amazing job behind the scenes, really running all the technical side. And then being able to have the students with us and give them uh, experience that they can then put on a resume reel and, and hopefully parlay for the future is uh, great for us. Now, do you guys have any similar uh, relationships with other schools as well, too, that you do a lot so of work So we do a lot of work with Bridgewater State University. They're located uh, right around the corner. Uh, we do some work with uh, the Central Atlantic Collegiate Conference, a little work with the Northeast 10 Conference. So, yeah, we like to get around, um, you know, and just offer opportunity. That, that's really what it's all about. Uh, the, the more experience we can get from more students, the better. Well, Jeff, thank you so much. Thanks, and uh, appreciate Lucas. your uh, time. And appreciate you. Thank you so much. Lucas, thanks again. 6-2 your score in favor of the Dean College Bulldogs over the Norwich Cadets. We're going to take a short break here on Bridgewater TV. We'll be right back for Brett Shavs and Nick Giglietti.
Welcome back here to Grant Field on the campus of Dean College. The Bulldogs leading 6-2 over the Cadets. Again, Brett Shops here with Nick Jiglietti. Quick shot. Alvarez Segui taking zero time to score. Fourth of the day, and it's 7-2. Yeah, what a pass by Benedetto. He won the faceoff. Alvarez Segui faked the shot at first. I thought he was going to shoot there. He got the defender going outside and in. And Alvarez Segui uh, far post and in to put the Bulldogs up 7-2. That's only eight seconds in. Diego Alvarez E actually set her NCAA record for uh, lacrosse, scoring the fastest goal in uh, lacrosse history at three seconds. The Cadets will take it up now in stride. Broom on the right side. Cadets starting out the way they did in the first quarter, working left to right on your screen. Bulldogs right to left. 60 seconds left on the shot clock. Up top. Now working by the top. Seidel has it. Working in by the left side. Good defense by the Bulldogs. Cutting in. Shot and that one just up top by Johnston. And that'll go out of play. Norwich will inbound again with under 14 to go here in the third. On the left wing, Meehan. Here's McKay cutting in on the left side. Almost had an open look, couldn't get it. Masonius up to the right side. Right points Meehan, back to McKay. Has it underneath of Rollins and it skitters left. Cadets will take over again with 13.33 left. Here comes Norwich again, working that left wing. And they got it. 7-3 with a Norwich goal. A nice play to cut down this Dean lead. Yeah, that was Seidel. He's been very well so far for the Cadets. He's a junior, from, as I mentioned, just from Centerville, Maryland. And uh, he's been playing really well for the Cadets. I believe that's his second goal. Again, it's quick scoring between Dean and Norwich. That one just a little over 90 seconds into the quarter. Bulldogs trying to take over. They lost the draw. Benedetto, great defense pushing outside. And Bulldogs will take possession. Benedetto, all sorts of electric after that one. Here comes Wise. Wise will slow down the play. Over to his right to Spears. Spears has it. Bulldogs working that left wing now. Spears, cutting in, has it on the right hand. Still looking for an open man. He'll now flip back around, up to the top. That's Brian. Brian, left shoulder side, still trying to work in. And now he'll go to the back of the net and reset. To Segui, Alvarez Segui with four goals on the afternoon. Trying to twirl around, sets the stick down low, gets it swatted. Back around, and he got a stick to the face. A flag will come out immediately. And it's going to be a Norwich penalty. Launch it on your screen again. And Sagi just takes it right to the face mask. Yeah, a little bit of a hook right there, too. Mason McMahon will take the penalty. 30-second penalty to Mason McMahon. 12-21 remaining in the third quarter. On the left side is Dean. They'll quickly work it and squeeze. Brian up top for Spears. Work in the left side. Shot, and that one was deflected by Alvarez Segui, and it goes way out. And the Bulldogs will retake possession. 
11 seconds left on the penalty to McMahon. Over to Sagi. Right side. Five seconds left. This ball at center field. And McMahon is out of the penalty. Here come the Bulldogs again. Up to the top of the point for Richard. Bryant has it on the right side. Clooney. Over to Alvarez Segui. 45 seconds left in the shot clock. Segui with a shot and that one whistled wide. Got through the legs of Kelleher there. And it'll go out with 11.32 remaining in the quarter. Yeah, another great play by Alvarez Segui. Inside, uh, outside, trying to get the defenders to break an ankle there. Good opportunity for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs will start up with it behind the net. It's Alex Spears with possession. Spears trying to get it to Brian, nearly picked off, and now Norwich has it. They'll work quickly towards the other way. A big shove by Spears. Here comes Norwich, all alone. Rollins has a firm position in the goal. Ball is loose on the ground. And it will be Bulldogs ball. That was 36, Matthew Hannon on the charge for Norwich. 11 minutes and three seconds remain in this quarter. Now 11 even. Here comes Aiden McCarthy up to the top for Richard. Down low. Now back to the top with Spears. Richard cutting in, has the open look on the left lane. He'll now be forced back. It's a little dribbler over to Brian. Brian slowing down. Bulldogs continue to be forced around the perimeter. Trying to look in, shot, nice save made by the Norwich defense. Goes back outside. Man is down in the far right corner and the Bulldogs are gonna retain possession. What a play by Dean to keep it alive. Alvarez Segui will start up with it. Working in, trying to find the look, shot and that was blocked. Loose ball down on the ground. Alvarez Segui trying to poke it back up. Working with three defenders in the process, finds a way to get it. Back up to the top for Brian, fires one on. And that one whistled above the crease. 10.08 remaining in the third quarter. Dean will reset with Alvarez Segui. The Bulldogs just absolutely dominating play right now. Up top, Clooney getting swatted at by multiple Norwich defenders. Cutting in, now back down low for Segui. Segui cuts right, now fakes left. Loose ball on the ground, almost turned it over to Norwich. Great play by Richard to keep it on. And it's gonna go to Norwich. Fresh shot clock and 9.40 remaining in the quarter. Here come the cadets. Masonius down low. McKay almost put it in the back door of Rollins and it will go out. It will stay Norwich ball. 60 seconds left in the shot clock for the cadets. Up top for Meehan. Johnston comes in to take possession. Lost it off his stick. And it will go out of play. Bulldogs will take over. Here comes Spears. Cutting in. Almost had the lane on Kelleher there. Still working behind the net. Bulldogs will spread out. Santeo cutting center side. Colvin. Spears threw a shot. That was deflected. Colvin's able to pick it up. He gets shoved to the ground. Flag is out. And the Cadets will take another penalty. Yeah, you can tell the Cadets are a bit frustrated here as they've taken two penalties so far just in the third quarter here. It'll be another 30-second penalty on Norwich. The penalty will gonna, is going to go on number 34, Joshua McQuinn, the 6'1 defenseman out of Milton, Vermont. It is a one-minute misconduct 
for the Norwich Cadets. They've umped up the time. Body check was the official ruling. So Alvarez Segui will take it down low by the net. What a good opportunity by Richard there, looking for the top corner. Over to Alvarez Segui on the near side. Over to Spears, through the shot and he got it. Nice little assist there for McGee. Alvarez Segui onto Spears and it is now 8-3 Bulldogs. Yeah, Alvarez with a silky pass there. Spears looked, uh, he went through the five hole there to put in a 8-3 lead for the Bulldogs. Little over eight and a half remaining here in the third quarter. Bulldogs will retake the five goal lead. Norwich will take possession. A great face-off win for the Cadets. Spears with his second goal of the game. Shot and they score. That's Luke Pineo and the Cadets quickly strike back. Yeah, the Cadets didn't let the, that goal uh, kind of hurt them as they come right back in it and make it a four goal game once again. It started off with that good face-off win for the Cadets and they just went full force there. Benedetto with a great shove, forces it inside Norwich territory. Meanwhile, the Cadets pick it back up. The Cadets trying to work in stride, but great pressure by the Bulldogs. Eight minutes remain here in quarter number three. Cross field pass, and here comes Norwich. Broom trying to work in. Feeds it down low behind the net. Dean defense scrambling. The Cadets will slow it down. Masonius, here comes Meehan. He checks in, has plenty of room, working by the right side. Masonius throws a shot and that one whistled wide. Mitch McKay got a piece of it as well and couldn't finish the job. 38 seconds left on the shot clock for the Cadets. Seven and a half remaining in the quarter. Eight for the score. McKay has it. Great defense by Dean. Johnston forces it up top. Meehan gives it to his left side. That's Pineo. Meehan cutting right. Now forces it left. Going over the head of a body there. That was Seidel. Peyton Emmerich will slide and then send it back up for the Bulldogs as they work the other way. Breton gave it back to Spears. Here comes Alvarez Segui. And now Spears will slow it down for Dean. Cloven and Wise will check back in for the Bulldogs. Same situation for Matthew Pacheco. Cloven over to Wise. They'll slow it down with 640 left. Wise, lots of speed, gives it down low. Pacheco feeds it in front for Spears. Oh, what a fake, and he got the second pump. 9-4. Yeah, great. That play all started with Peyton Emmerich. He beat out the battle, actually lobbed it right to Adam Britton, and Britton back to Spears. And they, of course, waited for the offense to get going. Spears with a nice fake in front. The hat trick goal for Spears. Third goal of the game for Spears. He joins... Alvarez Segui with more than three goals today. Alvarez Segui working with four total. Benedetto with a great shove. Here come the Bulldogs working on the attack now. Feeding it down low, a bobble behind the net and Greg Centeo will reset for Dean. Centeo feeds it to Segui. Plenty of steam cutting behind the net. Trying to wrap it around Kelleher here. Sagi throws it down low. Nice stick save. Oh, the second rebound by Centeo puts it home. Greg Centeo, the senior, makes it 10 4. Yeah, well, that was a great play. Diego Alvarez Sagi had two defenders on him. He took the shot. Juicy rebound by the cadets, and Centeo, one handed, gets the rebound for a 10 4 lead. 
What a reach by Greg Zenteo. Extends this lead by six for the Bulldogs. Here comes Dean. Spears will try to retrieve it in place still and it will go out. So turn over to Norwich. Under six to go here in the third. Kelleher will bring it up now for the cadets. Gives right to Meehan. Great press here by Alvarez Segui. Kelleher. Fires it, and it goes over the stick of number nine, Anthony Larson, and the Bulldogs will take over. Here's Breton. Up top to Wise. Wise will cut in left side. Great pump and will continue to transition through the attacking end. Wise, slowing play down. He'll now give to number two, Owen Bryan. McCarthy up top, Brian downstairs to Zenteo. Over to Brian, Richard up top. Right side for Spears. Spears, plenty of room. Throws a shot, that one wide. Ball will still be in favor of the Bulldogs. 4.56 left in the third. 10-4 lead for the Bulldogs. 40 seconds left on the shot clock for Dean. Back off his knees is Brian. Brian, right side cut. Working that left shoulder, now gives way to Spears. Had to reach out for that possession. Richard off the top of his stick, still working in play. And he'll now trickle out and Norwich will take over. Yeah, Spears a little too high for Richard as the uh, ball will be in favor of the cadets now. Broom fires it over to Masonius. Switches hands. Back up top now for the cadets. Meehan on the right side. Back down low. Mitch McKay set up behind the net. Here's Meehan. Meehan over to his left side. That's Seidel. Cutting on the left wing now. Johnston nearly slipped up. Up top. Seidel fires one on, and McKay almost put it back home. Bulldogs with a great defensive effort. Stick to the face there in the neck area of number two. That's Owen Bryan. Here comes Bryan again, working all alone with his right hand only. 3.43 remaining here in the third quarter. Bulldogs make a quick transition back on offense. Wise. Gives way to the left side to Alvarez Segui, who will let the play slow down. Cloven checks back in for the Bulldogs. Alvarez Segui still holding. Great cut, right side all alone, bullet! Got it! Five goals on the day for Alvarez Segui, and it is 11-4. Yeah, what a great opportunity by Alvarez Segui. He waited and waited. Finally saw the, the, his teammates come back in, but uh, Alvarez Segui said, let me take this one myself. Nobody on him, and he had the open shot. Fifth goal of the day for Alvarez Segui, 11-4 for the Bulldogs. Diego Alvarez Segui has dismantled this Norwich defense. They quickly win the draw, the cadets do, and they'll take it back the other way on offense. 58 goals on the season for Diego Alvarez-Segui. Bamfield has it on the left wing. Throws it downstairs looking for Seidel and miscommunication on the pass. 63 seconds remain on the shot clock. Alvarez Zagui checks out of the game. It'll take a quick break. Look like Alvarez Zagui might have got a stick to the knee there, just trying to clean it off. Meanwhile, play will resume. Seidel 
Working on the side with Mian. Mian trying to cut in. Thought he had the open lane. He'll pump fake back behind the net. Up to the top. That's Johnston. Right side now. Masonius. Cutting in, trying to throw the shot instead. Passed it and went wide. Bulldogs will take over on the possession. Yeah, it just seems like the cadets are kind of forcing the passes here and they're not looking at the stick. They're just looking for the open guy, but sometimes that's not always gonna work. Here comes Wise. Makes the transition and will now slow down for Dean. Throwing the shot, rebound, Santeo's there. Second goal of the day for Greg Zenteo, and it is 12 to 4. Yeah, what a play by Wise there. He waited and waited, saw Zenteo going to the net. Zenteo with the pretty much the open net there uh, extends the Bulldog lead. 2.15 left in the third quarter. Bulldogs absolutely dominating this quarter. And Norwich will take the timeout, so. 2.15 remaining here in the third quarter. Your score, Bulldogs 12 and Cadets just four. An absolute showing today for the Dean College offense. Diego alvarez Zagui with five goals today. Alex Spears with three. It's now two goals on for Greg Santeo. That's, we mentioned the attack. The attack is really special on this team. You mentioned those three. Those guys are going to score at least one, two goals every game. Uh, I, obviously, Diego alvarez Segui, as we mentioned, 58 goals on the season so far. Uh, Spears is another great contributor to the team. Santeo kind of brings that leadership to that, uh, that front three. So both of those, all three of those players are phenomenal players. Bulldogs will come out of the huddle. Fresh shot clock in 2.15 remaining here in the third. Again, Brett Schaub's alongside Nick Jiglietti for the regular season finale of Dean College men's lacrosse. A win here for Dean, which is advancing to that case, would put them at nine and five on the season. Meanwhile, Norwich falls again to six and 11 to wrap out the year. Yeah, it's definitely not how the cadets kind of imagined this season, I'm sure. Obviously, winning the GNAC championship last season, now going to six and 11, which is just on the outside looking in for the playoffs. Back to the circle for the draw. Great fight there by Benedetto when he comes up with it. Bulldogs making a couple substitutions here. Alvarez Gui holds possession as Richard and Aiden McCarthy come back in. Owen Bryan will check in again as well. Here's Spears. Spears slowing it down. Broom on him. Over to Richard at the top. Working that left side again to Alvarez Segui. Downstairs. Great play by Centeno. He got it. There's going to be a flag in the play. It'll be questionable to see if the goal will count. They're going to call it. That's a hat trick for Centeno. Centeno. Unbelievable play, he waited again, and waited out the goaltender for the Cadets. 13-4 lead. Craig Centeo with a last second diving effort, and he's able to punch it home. 13-4 is the score now. That is, since Centeo has a hat trick, that he, before this game, he had 19 goals. Yeah, he's on 21 for the season. So the official ruling was a Norwich push inside of the circle. But because Dean was able to score a Greg Santeo, the penalty was wiped clean. So 13 to four, the score, a nine goal lead for the Bulldogs. Norwich will start up a offensive possession again. Minute 15 remaining in quarter number three. 
Mian comes back into play. He'll quickly take possession over. Mian gives way to Masonius. Here come the cadets. Cutting in is Mian. Mian nearly got a swat there. Back to Masonius. Right hand side behind the net. Great defense by the Bulldogs here. That's 24 of Damon Shoot. Down low, Rollins almost had it by the stick and Mitch McKay is able to bank it home. 13 yeah. to five. McKay with a nice play there on his kind of twisted his uh, wrist there to try and get the opportunity to score there and he did a uh, juicy rebound for the Bulldogs. Uh, Rollins, you know, I would say most of these goals that the cadets have scored haven't really been his fault and I would say the goals have been kind of lucky in favor of the cadets. Back to center field. 41 seconds remain in the third quarter. 13 to 5. Cadets will quickly win the draw and work the other way. Trying to get a fast one back here. Almost on Rollins. They got it again. Back to back for Mitch McKay. And it is 13 to 6. Yeah, beautiful play there. They went right off the face off there as uh, McKay gets another goal to try and bring the cadets a little closer. Tough luck off the draw for Benedetto, and it allowed the cadets to bring this one back again. Separation by seven goals between the Bulldogs and the cadets. 30 seconds remaining now. This one a little bit more of a fight. Benedetto's able to just barely skitter it towards Norwich. And now the cadets working the other way. Here's Seidel. A lot of room to work with. Gets pushed down, and there's going to be a flag on Emmerich. McKay still holds possession. Back to Seidel. Down low it goes. Shot score. Paneo got the goal. That penalty is going to be wiped clean. It is 13 to 8. Yeah, it was a good play by the Dean defense. Uh, they couldn't really get the oppor uh, opportunity to clear it there as, you know, 11 seconds left. Uh, you know, if you're Dean, you might as well just hold, hold the ball and... Uh, just hope for the next quarter to be better. Eleven seconds left. Benedetto trying to just kill off the final ten. Loose ball inside the Norwich end. Down low, Benedetto is able to feed it to Centeo. One second left, and that will end the third here at Dean. Your score after three full quarters, Bulldogs 13 and the Cadets 7. Norwich able to bring it back, Nick, within the six gold mark and a lot of momentum for them heading into this final quarter. Yeah, toward, towards the last two minutes of the third quarter, the Cadets really, you know, started going on fire and, uh, you know, they've I think they scored three goals on three shots there. Uh, but, you know, if you're Dean, you have 15 minutes left, uh, maybe try and score a couple more, uh, then, you know, play defense and try and win this game for your seniors. So both sides in the huddle. Another minute 15 left here in this quarter break. Again, five goals on the day for Diego alvarez Ski, three for Spears, and Greg Zenteo also completed the hat trick as well. Those three we talked about before have been sensational. But the defensive side of the things for Dean, too, despite the final minutes in that third quarter, have really held up their own today. Yeah, I love the way Sean Beebe's been playing. I think he, as a first year, you know, he's really seen a lot of good minutes, a lot of good opportunity to make himself a, a better player. Uh, I love the way Peyton Emmerich's been playing. He's uh, coming off an injury as well, so I think he, you know, has been playing phenomenal. Adam Britton, as I mentioned uh, in the second quarter, he's he's a great defender, and you can't forget the goalie James Rollins. He's had a great game so far. So fourth and final quarter will start up here. Signs have flipped, so Rollins will take the stance over on the left goal, right goal occupied by Kelleher.
Benedetto and Moraski will take the face off. Bulldogs will win the opening draw of the quarter. Final 15 minutes here at Grant Field. McCarthy quickly comes on as Benedetto checks out. Up to the top for Brian. Checking in is Richard. Over to the right side for Spears. Spears working in. Cuts to the right side, looking for a potential goal. Great defense by Norwich. Over to Alvarez Segui, threw one on, and that one got away from Kelleher. Bulldogs with 35 seconds left on the shot clock. Working in, nearly had it, and Norwich is able to take over. Here come the cadets working on the far side of the field. Now at the top, great pass up in front. Norwich working in, McKay has it, shot and he scores. It's a hat trick and three unanswered for Mitch McKay. And it is 13 to eight. Yeah, it seems like the Dean defense can't really control McKay here right now. Uh, as you just mentioned, three straight goals for McKay. Uh, if you're Dean, you know, let's, uh, you know, do you tighten the more defensively or you keep going on the offense? Norwich starting to come back in this game a little bit more. 13 to eight with 13, 47 remaining in the game. Broom will take it up with a full head of steam and get shoved out. Flag is down. Norwich holds possession. Down low for Seidel. Here's McKay. McKay holding it. Looking for an open look. Loose ball. Almost swatted out there. Really picked up again there by Meehan. Feeds it back to the top from Masonius. Johnston checks back into the attacking end. Up top now for Johnston. 13-10 remaining. 45 on the shot clock. McKay cuts left. Now back right side. Gets tripped up. Great play by the, co the Dean College defense. And now the... Whistle blows it dead. It'll be a penalty on the Bulldogs for a push. The penalty on number three, Sean Beebe, for the push. Norwich will start it up in the attacking end. Here comes Mitch McKay, they'll start it up again. Gives back to the right side to Masonius. Down low, Masonius again, feeding now behind the net for Johnston. Now working that left side is Meehan, gives back to the right to Johnston. Cutting in and a great tackle there. Another flag down, Seidel is down low. Whistle will blow it dead with 12.42 remaining and it's gonna be another penalty on the Bulldogs. I believe this one's going to Chris Rivera. So Chris Rivera will get the penalty. So now two penalties on the Bulldogs. They'll be pushing on Chris Rivera. Here come the cadets. Up top is Meehan. 
Here they go, a quick shot, and that one whistled up and high. That was 22, Chris Smith. Mitch McKay will inbound here for Norwich with 12 and a half remaining. Five goal lead for the Bulldogs, trying to preserve it. Down low, Rollins has it. Up top for Smith. Quick shot, that one, a dribbler, and it got away from Rollins, back out again. Over to Smith, shot, and he scores. Chris Smith was standing all over the defender there on 37, Chris Carbone. It is 13-9. And Norwich Cadets are really shooting from anywhere and anywhere right now. Uh, you know, it was a good play by the Dean defense, uh, but a better shot by the Cadets. Only a four-goal game now. Norwich fighting back in the final quarter. They win the draw, and a flag will come out. The Cadets drawing every penalty they can right now. They'll take over possession with Pineo. Up top. Meehan cuts down low behind the net. 60 seconds left on the shot clock. Meehan waiting. Up top now for Johnston. Looking inward. Masonius nearly got held. Gets caught up with a handful of bodies. And nearly kept in. And it'll be another penalty on the Bulldogs. Another penalty to Sean Beebe here. Sean Beebe will get his second penalty in the last two minutes. It'll be a one minute penalty for slashing on Sean Beebe. Here comes Norwich again on the attacking end. Masonius goes down low. Norwich can make this a three goal game. Down low, Johnston now goes back up top on the right side. Masonius went across and nearly was picked off and now Dean will hold possession. Masonius forcing them outside. Held on by 15 and Anthony List. And here comes Peyton Emmerich. Emmerich has it, working in. Drops down low, nearly having it. There was Rivera. Rather, that was 30, it was Rivera, I beg your pardon. Whistle was blown, trying to figure it out here. 10.50 remaining here in the game. Officials trying to sort things out on the possession. And now the Cadets will take over. And it will be Cadets ball. So here comes Norwich. 10 seconds left until the release of BB. Norwich quickly with Seidel trying to find one last goal before the release. Here's Johnson. Great defense by Benton. Working by the right side, and the Bulldogs are back to even. Meehan has it. Under 10 and a half remaining. Up top for Masonius. Cadets working in slowly. Trying to find a way behind the net. Down low was Paneo. Managed to get back up. Over to Meehan again. Cutting to the right side. Looking for the open look. Gets swatted. Shot and a nice save by Rollins. Goes out. And it'll be Cadets ball still with about 23 seconds left on the shot clock. I believe that's Rollins' first save of this quarter. Up top to Meehan, trying to cut left, lost his footing. 
Great defense again by the Bulldogs. Ball is down low. Norwich just able to come up with it. Seidel flicks it down to the ground. And Bulldogs will transition the other way. Spears has it in the attacking zone. Bulldogs will quickly transition to the attacking side. Trying to cut in was Alvarez Seguin. He lost it off his stick. Now Norwich works the other way. They caught the Bulldogs as they were working men in. Shot and that one whistled wide of James Rollins. The Cadets will take over with eight seconds off the shot clock. 72 left. 9-10 remaining as Norwich resumes play in a hurry. Meehan working in. Shot and what a stick save by Rollins. Saves another goal. Holds on to it and will work behind the net. Bulldogs keep it within four goals. Rollins coming out. He'll give it to the left side. Nice flip by Benton on Alvarez Sagi. By the far side of the field, work in the left wing. Here comes Alvarez Sagi, goes behind the back, and will now slow down as the Bulldogs will transition. And now we get a timeout with 8.37 remaining. Yeah, Bulldogs have really kind of struggled this, this quarter with uh, scoring some goals. It seems like it was it's flip flop third quarter. Dean really was a scoring threat. Now it's uh, Norwich. Uh, but if you're Dean, you have eight minutes and 37 seconds left to hold the lead here. Uh, you know, obviously you would love another goal f for the Bulldogs, but uh, the Cadets are fighting and they're gonna have every opportunity to try and uh, at least tie the game here. 13-9 the score between Dean and Norwich on the campus of Dean College here at Grantfield. Brett Schaffs, Nick Giglietti with you here. Norwich has gone on an incredible run here, coming back and making this just a four-goal game. They had just three goals at one point in the third quarter and have scored six unanswered. Yeah, I mean, the, as I mentioned before, the Cadets have really, you know, picked up their, pl their play in the fourth or towards the end of the third quarter and the fourth quarter uh bulldogs really got off to a hot start and now they've kind of slowed down uh but you know the bulldogs haven't really had anything going this period a lot of turnovers uh a lot of miscommunication if you're the bulldogs you fix those errors and you know you're right back in it Eight thirty-seven left in regulation. Bulldogs trying to hold on and get their ninth win of the season. Norwich will start on defense as the Bulldogs begin their offensive charge. Spears has it on the right wing, gives behind the net to Alvarez Segui. Under eight and a half remaining. On the left side, up top to Spears. Spears working in, throws a hard bouncer and it got caught off a defender. Santeo nearly had it and here comes Norwich. Spears nearly had the defensive slash. Up top for the Cadets, on top of Rollins. They score just barely. And they called it the goal, 13-10 with 8.05 remaining. Yeah, it seems like the Bulldogs are absolutely flustered right now. Uh, it seems like every shot for the cadets are going in. But as I mentioned before, right before that time, or during the timeout, uh, you know, the, the Bulldogs need to communicate better and, uh, you know, find a way to get going again. A three-goal game with a little over eight minutes remaining. A fight for the draw, and it's won by Broom and the Cadets. Norwich works in quickly as Dean fights back to defense. 7.45 remaining in regulation. McKay up top. Here's Meehan. Meehan holding possession for Dean. Masonius cutting right. 
Now goes back to his left side. Looking for the open lane. He's got it. Shot and a nice save by Rollins. Goes out in front of McKay. Norwich will quickly take over with 34 seconds left on the shot clock. Hey, if you're the Bulldogs, you don't want to let any of the cadets come in on Rollins like that. Up top, Johnston threw a shot, and that one also wide. Masonius will bring it up for Norwich. Up top to McKay. McKay cutting left, goes back to the right side now. Nice defense by Dean, low roller, and it goes off of the knee of Emmerich, and Dean's able to pick it up. And that one will get away from a Dean defender. That was number 21 for the Bulldogs in Kyle Ingram. A little over six and a half remain here in the game. Bulldogs trying to hold on. Three goal lead for the Dean College Bulldogs over Norwich. Meehan cuts left, no lane there. Back to Paneo, forced around the perimeter. Top for Johnston. Now to the right side to Masonius off the top of his stick, and he will regather. Over to Mian. Mian has it. Still waiting. Twirls. Just missed. Now over to the right side. Back inside to Mian off of a defender, and it's picked up by Breton of the Bulldogs. Nearly turned it over again to side L, and now the Cadets will pick it right back where they started. Off of the stick of Rollins, and that one will trickle out of play. So Dean will take over with a little over 540, little, little over 545 remaining, excuse me. Wise will inbound it here for Dean. Let's see if Dean can get some offense going here. Wise will quickly work in. Go shallow side to Spears. Rivera will check out with Wise. Owen Bryan and now Richard will check in for the Bulldogs. Down low is Spears, still waiting for an open look. Long ranging pass to Bryan, has to jump up and snag it. Right side, cutting in his spear, still waiting. Up top, Richard gives to his left side, that's Sagi. Back to Richard, five minutes remaining here in the game. Over to the side with Bryan. Up top to Spears, going around the pyramid is Dean. Sagi. Cutting in, has a look, throws a shot, and that one was way wide. 16 seconds left on the Dean shot clock. Clock continuing to run. Last ditch effort here, trying to cut in there, and just missed. That was Aiden McCarthy. Yeah, great opportunity by McCarthy. Dodged off two defenders, was able to get the shot, but just shot a little too high. And the shot and a nice save by Kelleher. Rebound in front of Spears. Regathered and that one over the crossbar. That was a nice little ditch by Owen Bryan. Richard comes back in. Bulldogs have 60, little, little under 60 seconds at 50 now. Little over four minutes remaining. Nice cut by Alvarez Segui. Gives himself a lot of space. Behind the net, Dean just trying to kill every minute of clock they can. Now up top to Richard. To the right side to Brian. Spears goes back down low to Sagi again. Richard has it up top. 3.45 remaining. Brian cuts to the right. Has the look, still waiting. Sagi trying to cut in forward, and Norwich will pick it off. Ball is on the ground. Alex Spears still trying to have it, gets sandwiched, and now Norwich will gather. Here comes Cesar. Still getting forced outward, and it looks like we're going to get a penalty. Flag is on the ground, and it's going to go against Dean. I believe it might be Spears heading off. 
So it's going to be a one-minute slashing penalty, two spears, as you mentioned, Nick. So 326, Bulldogs will have to kill off the minute before Spears is released. Tough one to take, especially for Spears with all the production he's had on offense. Yeah, it was good pressure by the Bulldogs. It seems like they were really controlling play uh, in, when they had the ball in the offensive zone. Norwich will start one up with 315 remaining. McKay gives way to his right side. Up top now. Now behind the net, Johnston waiting. Goes to the left wing. Meehan has it. Now to the right side, Masonius back up top. McKay gives to the left. Meehan back across the way. Masonius has it, gets swatted at. Back by Breton. Chris Smith nearly had the shot. Good play by Peyton Emmerich, and it will stay Norwich possession with 42 seconds left on the shot clock. Two forty left in the game. Up top for Meehan. Feeds it down low. Swallowed up is Johnston. Still trying to find an open look and Dean's able to recover. Here come the Bulldogs the other way. Wise nearly had it. Sipped by a Norwich defender. Wise cuts in low. Flips it up. And the Cadets will retake over. Little over two minutes remaining here in the game. Here comes Johnston with a lot of space to work with. Johnston has some room, throws a shot. Nice play by Rollins to keep it alive. 2.10 left, and whistle will come. And now a Norwich timeout here. So two minutes and 10 seconds left here at Grant Field. Your score, 13-10, with the Bulldogs leading by three. But yeah. shit. The Bulldogs are, you know, really kind of just running down the clock here. Uh, two minutes and ten seconds left. Not too much, uh, you know, Dean wants, they don't want to take any more penalties. Uh, as they, as this quarter, I think they've taken at least five or six. And, uh, you know, if, if you're Dean, keep it simple. Uh, nothing, no crazy plays. And uh, if you're Norwich, you know, if you can get one on this possession here, why not try and go for it all and try and force this game into overtime? The Bulldogs trying to finish nine and five to end out the season. They are two ten away from it. Meanwhile, Norwich trying to avoid falling to six and eleven on the year. Six and ten as it stands now. Both sides will come out of the huddle. If you're Dean, you're just trying to kill off as much clock as you can in the attacking end. Possession will start inside the Bulldog zone. Norwich on offense. Again, 2-10, a fresh shot clock at 70 seconds. Over to Meehan, gives way to McKay. Mitch McKay, who has three goals on the day. Getting pushed off by Dean Defenders. Here's Masonius, cuts in, trying to swirl. Great defense by Rivera. Up top for Meehan. Lots of speed working by the right wing now. Minute 45 remaining. Over to McKay. Over to Masonius. Lost possession, and that will roll out. Dean will take over possession with a minute 38 remaining. Now's their time to kill clock. Here come the Bulldogs. Over to the left side to Centeo. And a shove. There should, there should be a flag called here. Trying to figure out who will take possession here. It looks like Dean. Officials are still talking it over with a minute 29 remaining. 89 seconds left. They might be saying that ball went out of bounds when Sateo was in the corner there. Norwich will in fact take over here. 
Three goals in a minute, 29. A tough task, but not impossible. Aaron Broom will start up possession for the Cadets. Here they come. Clock resumes. Fresh shot clock on for Norwich. And it gets away from Kelleher. That's certainly going to hurt the clock here. Masonius trying to fight with the defender down low. Dean trying to put lots of pressure on. Rollins is way out. And here comes a flag. Norwich is going to get the penalty. Bulldogs are jumping for joy. It's off one there for Norwich. So Dean will take over on the penalty here. Yeah, great play by BB there. He was he's the playing defense and uh, you know Norwich uh, made a bad pass and BB came away with the ball and uh, made the Norwich Cadets take a penalty. Masanius will get the penalty for a push. 69 seconds left in the game. One minute remaining here for the Bulldogs. Here's Alvarez Segui. Three goal lead for Dean, trying to preserve it. Segui has all sorts of room and he scores! And a flag comes at the end of the play on the shove. What a outstanding goal by Diego Alvarez Sugi. So another penalty on the cadets. Goal will stand. So Bassonius will be released. Another penalty here on the cadets. 50 seconds left. Ladies and gentlemen, a one minute penalty has been issued to Norwich's number 34, Joshua McQuinn. 20 seconds in between the shot clock and game clock. Alvarez Segui has it, just trying to kill off the last ditch effort. Six goals scored by Diego Alvarez Segui. Trying to finish off the job. 30 seconds left here in the game. Segui still holding on. Fights off a defender. Working down bottom on the left side. Gets pushed. Now up top. 20 seconds left for Sugi. Gives a pass over to Spears. The Dean College Bulldogs fought off the Cadets. They're going to finish off the season on a win. Advance to 9-5. and five, And they're going to the GNAC playoffs. Congratulations. Congratulations to the Bulldogs, an unbelievable job. Uh, you know, it, at, at times it, it came scary for the Bulldogs, for sure. Uh, but at the same time, they fought so hard and, uh, you know, came away with this uh, victory. Diego Alvarez, Sugi, six goals on the day, an unbelievable player, great effort by the Cadets. Uh, but the Bulldogs were too much to handle for the Cadets today. Dean finishes the season 14 and Dean finishes this game 14 and 10. They finish the season at 9 and 5. I beg your pardon, but Norwich will fall to 6 and 11 on the year. And the Bulldogs with a great last minute effort to head into the playoffs. And they will most likely be headed to Emmanuel, uh, the top seed in the GNAC this season. Bulldogs finish out one final huddle. What a phenomenal day here for Diego Alvarez-Segui. Finishes with six goals on the day. 
Meanwhile, three goals each for Alex Spears and Greg Santeo. And we mentioned those uh, three in the beginning of the uh, third quarter. It was a great job by both those players, or all three of those players, excuse me. Uh, they're, you know, they're unbelievable. They're very smart when it comes to the game of lacrosse and, uh, you know, really help them uh, get this victory. Both sides shake hands, the universal sign of sportsmanship and scholar. And this, this is the best part of the game right here. Uh, the sportsmanship by both teams to, you know, you, you know, no team gave up here really. And, uh, you know, the Bulldogs came away victorious. Alvarez Segui finishes with 59 goals in the regular season. Absolutely outstanding from the attacker. So we wait a few short moments. We'll get a few quick interviews with some of the guys on this lacrosse team for Dean. And Brent Shops, Nick Giglietti with you here. Sun finally starting to peek out here at perfect fashion with the Dean College win. Rain was able to hold up. There was a little bit of precipitation at halftime, but nothing much to affect the conditions. No, absolutely not. It was actually a beautiful day for, for the seniors, for, for the Dean College Bulldogs. Uh, it was a great ceremony for all 10 of those seniors. Uh, the, uh, the manager, Jordan Pelletier, uh, you know, it's great, great day. Final score, 14 to 10 again. Bulldogs able to win it by four. We want to give a huge thank you to all of the crew here from Bridgewater Television, Bridgewater Access, for all of the hard work today. Dean College Sports Broadcasting, Dean News Network, Dean TV, all of the collaborations involved, a phenomenal production from all fronts. Yeah, a great moment for all of the Dean College Sports Broadcasting majors, Dean TV, Dean News Network. Uh, you know, this is Bridgewater TV really showed us today what a true production really looks like and uh, what, you know, happens on a, on a normal basis. Uh, I'm so happy I got to be a part of it. Nick, your final broadcast actually as a Dean College Sports Broadcasting major. One final curtain call. Any final words? Uh, you know, it's been awesome come, uh, being here at Dean. Uh, Dean College Sports Broadcasting program is only going up. Uh, I'm so excited that I got the opportunity to uh, <clears throat> to broadcast uh, all four years. Uh, you know, I knew this was something that I wanted to do since I was a freshman in high school. And, uh, you know, I met some great people along the way, uh, some great uh, sports broadcasting directors like yourself, Brett. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm, you know, I can't say enough. Uh, you know, I'm not sure where things will take me next year, but uh, I'm so honored to, to be here. So again, your final score here, 14 to 10 between Dean and Norwich. We'll be right back with some short interviews from our man down on the sidelines, Steve Mazza. But for one last time, with Nick Gigliotti, my name is Brett Shops. Thanks so much for tuning in to all of today's action. We'll be right back in just a few short moments time. Yes. <laughs> 
Yeah. I'm here at Grand Field, and I'm with the senior lacrosse team. Boys, how are we feeling? Oh, we're feeling great. Yeah, everyone yeah. feeling good. Feeling great. Big win. How are we all feeling? I want to hear Greg first. That was a huge team win. Yeah. I feel awesome. Yeah. Couldn't have gone a better way. How are you feeling, Brad? Awesome, man. Can't be any better than this. Chico. Sensational. Yeah, to, I go around. I go around the whole place. Payton, big defensive guy over here, man. Just you know, senior year, last time really here. So I want to hear what are the thoughts going on. You know, we played a good game. They came back a little bit, but we stood tall and shut them down. Came up big at the end there. Yeah. What's the plan for the playoffs, guys? Win, oh, win, yeah. some more. Three, three, games. three games. We win in this shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go, Bulldog.